So we're currently on the database and models page from the Zen Skeleton application. And what we've done in the last tutorial is we've inserted some dummy data into our database. And we've also done a bunch of work setting up the ORM and setting up the models for our application. So what we're going to do in this video is we're going to be adding some code to our controller. And we're also going to be adding some code to the view, which is which we're going to use to loop over all the different albums and then display that on skeleton.dev slash album. Now before I go further, I just want to correct something that I said in the last video. In the last tutorial, we went into the root of our project and we opened the main.gitignore file and we added config autoload to local.php within here. However, I'm just going to delete this right now because it's not necessary. Because if we look inside the autoload folder within config, we'll see there's already a .gitignore right here. And we'll see that it has two rules in it already, which is it's ignoring everything within this folder that is called local.php or anything that ends with .local.php. So because this is already here, we can just leave this as it is. And there was also another file which was called local.php.dist. But because we already created the local.php, you can just remove that other file that ended with .dist because it's just a placeholder for this local.php file anyways. So let's go back over to the documentation here and let's go down to the part about the controllers. And what we're going to do is we're going to copy this function right here, get album table. So this is going to be needed to paste into our controller. And there's a little explanation for it here. It says now that the service manager can create an album table instance for us, we can add a method to the controller to retrieve it. Add get album table method to the album controller class. So if we take a look at what's happening within this function here, the first thing it's doing is the controller is checking if it has a property called album table. And if it doesn't, it's first calling this get service locator and it's storing that in a variable, variable called sm. And then it's using sm get and it's getting an instance of the album table and it's storing it as a property on the controller. So I'm hoping this is going to make sense to me later. Usually I just think of controllers as transport layers and if they need some dependencies then I inject them through the constructor. So just for now, I'm just going to copy this and we're going to go over to our controller. So that was located within the module folder and then album, SRC, album, controller, and then open up the album controller. And I'm just going to paste this at the bottom here, our get album table function. Finally, what we need to do is set that as a protected property of the class, because if we didn't set that as protected at the top, when we do this part right here, which is this album table, that's going to be set as a public property. So just above the index action here, I'm going to do a protected album table. Okay, so that's done. Let's see what the next thing we have to do is. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this return statement here from listing albums, and we're going to paste that within our index action. So let's just paste that in here. And what we have here is a lot more similar to other frameworks. We're returning an, a view object from the index action. And then within here is going to be some variables that are going to be accessible within the view. So we have this albums variable and that is going to be equal to the collection of all of the different albums. So the next thing we're going to do is we're just going to copy all of this code for the view here. Let's copy that and let's go back to our text editor and this needs to be pasted within index.phtml. So we can find that phtml file within module album and then view, open up view, album album and then open up index.phtml and I'm just going to paste all of this in here. So we'll see a bunch of code in here. One thing I'm not understanding right off the bat is why we have this dollar sign title right here because I don't remember passing that in through the index action. I see albums here and albums is accessible as dollar sign albums right here so that's making sense. So I think we're going to get an undefined variable error right here but we're going to find that out pretty quickly. So if we look at the bottom here, we'll see that we're looping over all of the different albums and we're outputting the title, we're outputting the artist, and we're also doing, we're ex escaping the HTML if there was some nasty JavaScript in there or something like that. So I think we can basically test this out in the browser now. Let's go over here to our site and I'm going to do a refresh. And we're getting a fatal error. It's saying namespace declaration statement has to be the very first statement in the script at album module album.php on line 3. So let's go take a look at that. So if we go into our SRC folder and then album and then model and then album.php, we'll see there's a little bit of white space here before our PHP tags. 
So let's go back here and let's refresh and see if that's working. And we'll see everything's working fine now. We're looping over that collection and we're showing these five different albums.